hello everyone welcome to easy and in our today's video we will learn about schrodinger wave equation there are two forms of schrodinger wave equation one is time independent schrodinger wave equation and the second is time dependent schrodinger wave equation in one of our previous videos we have derived the equation for time independent schrodinger wave equation and today we will derive the equation for time dependent schrodinger wave equation the main difference between the time independent and time dependent schrodinger wave equation is that the time independent schrodinger wave equation is independent of time here you can see that this wave function which gave us the probability of finding a particle in space and time this wave function is independent of time and depends only on the position but if we look at to the time dependent schrodinger wave equation you will find that this wave function is dependent on position and time so time is a four dimension and we will find uh, the momentum energy and uh, other uh, information about the particle at specific time and specific position but here we deal only with the position this gives us probability of particle in space but this second equation gives us the information about or the probability of finding a, a particle in space as well as in time so time is actually the fourth dimension now we are going to derive the time dependent schrodinger wave equation when we deal with classical mechanics we can say that the total energy of the system is given as the sum of the kinetic energy and the sum of potential energy so we take the total energy as e is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy but in quantum mechanics we deal with hamiltonian hamiltonian is actually the total energy of the system and that is equal to the kinetic energy plus potential energy of the system now in quantum mechanics we deal with the wave function and the wave function is actually a function of position in time and is denoted by psi and is equal to a e to power iota k x minus omega t this is the exponential form and the second form is a cos k x minus omega t plus iota sin k x minus omega t this is actually a complex uh, wave function this wave function have four dimension three are the basic dimensions like x y uh, z direction and the fourth dimension is taken as time so this is a function of position and time in the time dependent schrodinger wave equation we will consider this time but in the time independent schrodinger equation wave equation we take the wave function as a function of position only now when we apply different operators on this wave function we get the required results like kinetic energy and potential energy and momentum so uh, in quantum mechanics this wave function is one of the most basic equation now using this wave function we will derive the equation of for the time dependent schrodinger wave equation the the Schrodinger wave equation is considered as the Newton's second law in quantum mechanics. Uh, this is the most important equation. Now, when we multiply this wave function with this Hamiltonian, or this uh, more classically, this will look like uh, total energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy. When we multiply this wave function with this, we will get e psi xt is equal to kinetic energy into wave function plus potential energy into wave function name this equation as equation number one we will later need this equation now look at to the wave function we know that wave function is equal to a e to power iota kx minus omega t now we take the first differential of this equation with respect to position x this is actually the partial differential of this wave function by taking the partial differential of this wave function we will get psi xt divided by curly of psi x is equal to iota k a e to power iota k x minus omega t uh, these are the mathematical steps you can note for uh, deriving this part of the equation this is actually when we take the differential of an exponential we get uh, exponential again and then we apply the 
or differential on the power of the exponential term so we get uh, finally we will get first differential of wave function is equal to iota k into a e to power iota k x minus omega t now we apply the second partial differential again with respect to position so we will get uh, partial square of psi xt by partial of x square and finally we will get minus k square psi xt here you can see that this is iota square k square a e to power iota k x minus omega t here the value of iota square is minus 1 so we substituted the value for iota square and we will get partial square psi xt by partial of x square is equal to minus k square psi xt now further proceeding with this equation this was the equation we have derived in the previous part now we are going to derive the value for this k so for deriving the value for this k we will use the de Broglie hypothesis according to the de Broglie hypothesis the wavelength lambda is equal to h divided by p h here is the uh, Planck's constant and p is the momentum where this Planck's constant is equal to 2 pi h bar this is the second form for Planck's constant but here we multiply this h, uh, h bar with 2 pi so we denote this by actually h bar is equal to h divided by 2 pi so we have h is equal to 2 pi h bar here we have substituted the value for h Planck's constant which is equal to 2 pi h bar divided by p and now lambda we know that lambda times web vector k is equal to 2 pi so we will have lambda is equal to 2 pi divided by k so we substitute the value for wavelength in this equation and we will get 2 pi by k is equal to 2 pi h bar by momentum this 2 pi will cancel out with this 2 pi and we will get web vector k is equal to momentum divided by h bar now we will substitute the value of this k which is momentum divided by h bar in this equation by substituting this value we will get okay not this is this is the value for k now we multiply this equation with kinetic energy by multiplying this equation with kinetic energy we will get ke into uh, the same terms but we will just get this extra kinetic energy term which is multiplied on both the sides of the equation and the kinetic energy we know is equal to p square divided by 2m so we will put the values for kinetic energy is equal to momentum square divided by 2m and the wavelength as 2 pi divided by k by substituting the values for uh, sorry for our uh, wave vector k and kinetic energy in this equation we will get p square divided by 2m into partial square psi xt by partial of x square is equal to minus momentum square divided by h bar square into psi xt into kinetic energy now this p square will cancel out with this p square we will shift this minus to the left side and multiply h bar square with both the sides so we will get minus h bar square divided by 2m into partial square psi xt by partial of x square is equal to wave function times kinetic energy name this equation as equation number 2 we will later need this equation up to now we have derived the equation uh, this was the equation number first and this is the equation number second we have derived now let's begin again with the wave function we know that the wave function is equal to a e power iota kx minus omega t now this time we will take the partial differential of wave function with respect to time by taking the partial differential of this wave function with respect to time we will get partial of psi xt by par by curly of t is equal to minus iota omega psi xt this wave function this term again look at to this term this is actually a e to power eta kx minus omega t is equal to psi xt so we get again the same result uh, but this time the wave function uh, this this differential was with respect to time so we have minus iota omega psi xt last time we have taken the second partial differential but this time we are not going to take the second partial differential with respect to time this first one was enough now we have 
partial of psi x t by curl d of x t is equal to minus iota omega psi x t. Shifting this minus sign to this side, we will have minus curl d psi x t by curl d of t plus iota omega psi x t. Now here, we are going to derive the value for omega. Now according to the Planck's equation, we know that the uh, energy of a system or quantum mechanical system or quantum mechanical particle is given by h times frequency which is denoted by f and we know that frequency here is equal to omega divided by 2 pi. Now this h divided by 2 pi is h bar. So we will get E is equal to h bar times omega angular frequency. So we have when we divide this uh, uh, energy by h bar we will get the value of omega. We have omega is equal to E divided by h bar. Now we are going to substitute this value for omega in this equation. Now look at to this minus we know that uh, iota square is equal to minus 1 so we have just uh, uh, substituted the value for minus 1 as iota square now we have iota square here this iota square will cancel out with this iota and we will multiply h bar with both the sides by multiplying h bar with both the sides we will get iota h bar into partial by partial of t into wave function is equal to energy times wave function name this equation as equation number 3 we have derived uh, equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 now we will substitute uh, the values for now from these three equations, we will derive the time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. We know that E psi xt we have derived is equal to this term from equation number 3 and uh, this kinetic energy times wave function we have derived is equal to this term. Now we will just substitute the values for E into wave function and kinetic energy into wave function in this equation number one by substituting the values for this term and this kinetic energy term we will get the Schrodinger wave equation this is the final form of time dependent Schrodinger wave equation after rearranging we can get this uh, equation and this is uh, this all these three are the different forms of the same equation so we have the Schrodinger wave equation this is the time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy to you for more videos.